Hey there folks, this is Ian, I'm an artist at Pingwa, and today we're going to be coloring comics in Krita. Color can be used to enhance the art on your page and can inform things like weather, the time of day, you can even convey emotion with color. Whether you're working print or digital, color can add a lot to your page. The process is fairly simple, it's kind of like working with a coloring book with just a few extra steps to make it a little more efficient, and I'm going to show you that today. So again, we have this page that we've inked previously. We're going to be working on the same panel. In our layers drop down, you notice um, I've taken out the tones from a previous video, so we just have the inks. I'm going to convert those inks into a multiply layer, so any potential white space or non-black is just going to be multiplied down onto the colors. I'm going to make a layer, drag it below. I'm going to double click it and rename it. Flats. So flats are the basic uh, flat colors that you're going to be laying down and then on top of those flats I'll be adding a shading and a highlight layer. If you want to get even more granular and divide things up, second layer, drag it below your flats, double click it and call it BG. Be where I keep my flat background layer. I'm also going to turn inherited alpha on both of these just so I don't color outside the area of the panel. Panels are nested below in this clipping group and it's the bottom layer and so all of the layers above are taking their alpha or transparency information from that layer. So to start I'm going to go over to my brush presets. I'm going to grab a basic five, size 5 brush. I'm going to go to my flats layer. My color selector. Choose my skin hand brush and then I'm just going to lock it in. So once you have your flats done you can make another layer on top of them and use inherited alpha. You can actually insert this into a clipping group. I'll show you how to do that. Hit Control G and now it's inserted it into a separate clipping group. So you might be saying where did all my color go once you put it into a clipping group? The reason is that inherited alpha is still on, but within this clipping group, which is a subgroup in the bigger group, there's nothing below it. So because there's no information, there's nothing for it to pull from. So I'm going to turn that off and make sure that it's turned on on the group folder here. The so flats is inside of this folder and inherited alpha is going to be applied to everything within that group. So now that I'm in here, I can create another layer on top and double click it, go shades. Then again, I'll turn inherited alpha on this one. So it's taking the information from the flats layer below it. So if I select this control and click to select and I take a darker tone. I'm going to restrict my drawing just to the area that I've colored. Another thing that I could do is take the same color, but change my layer into a multiply mode. Give me a more intense version of that color. So I can block in my shadows in this layer, only going to affect the skin tone. let you work a little more quickly because you don't have to worry about coloring outside the lines. And if I want to do the same thing for uh, highlights, I'm just going to make a layer on top. Name it. Use highlight tone. Alpha. And 
quickly block those in. That's one method. You can skip a lot of these steps by using something called preserve alpha. So I've gone back to the basic step. I've removed the clipping group from flats. It's just in the standard group now with all of my line art. And I'm going to toggle this little button at the top beside eraser mode. Button is the preserve alpha. It works the same as putting things in a group with inherited alpha, only it applies to just this layer. So now if I take a darker tone, paint, right layer. Can't go outside the line. The only thing with this method is I am drawing my original flats, so it's a little more destructive than nesting in clipping groups and making separate layers. But it can be quicker if you're confident. Don't worry about messing up your original flats. And again, you can do highlights the same way. So those are two methods of quickly laying down colors. Uh, in the background, because this is layered below everything else, I just want to put a basic gradation in here. So I'm going to use my selection tool, I'm going to select this entire panel, and then I'm going to go to my gradation tool in the panel here. You edit your gradients, there's a little button up at the top. You click that, it has all of your recent gradients and other things you've used. Click one, I'm just going to go solid to solid, foreground to background color here, then I'm going to edit it. It will bring up another dialog here, I have both of these here. I'm going to click on one of these, click on the color, choose a color, front, color. And now I have my gradation of blue, like my gradient. Tag. Done that room. And I've dropped it in. And I have inherited alpha, so even if this was a little bit bigger, it's not going to go outside the borders. And I can still see my line art because my line art is on the top layer. But now I can go into my flats. If I paint, I can paint right over. There we have it. Two very quick methods of coloring in Krita. In a future video, I'll be coloring in a different method using adjustment layers, so stay tuned for that. So practice with gradients, layering, clipping groups, inherited alpha, and preserve alpha. And until next time, keep drawing. Bingo.